So, have you ever been bear? Have you been so embarrassing when you you will definitely regret on what you're doing in your life? You'll probably do. When you're drinking, like when you're having fun, maybe drinking. Well, I'm 20, and by the time you're I'm 20, I'm recording this, and by the time when you see this video, I'll be 21. And I'm going to be legal to drink, but I'm going to stay sober here and not drink as much as a lot of alcohol as possible. There's, at the back of in this, on the shelf, there are alcohols. I mean, there's a lot, and I don't want that to be showing that I drink alcohol. No, do that. I'm just going to stay sober like this. But most people do. They drink alcohol and have something very embarrassing on what they're reading. So, I want to look at some of the embarrassing drunk fails that they have ever done in their lives. Probably the most embarrassing thing they ever done while being drunk. So I have, all right, I have this one on BuzzFeed and telling this all the stories that they have and hopefully I will talk myself through it and see myself the reaction on what it is. Alright, without further ado, let's just hop on into it. Let's go. Once I was drunk and walked to my friend's apartment to crash there. The door was unlocked. So I went inside, but no one's home. I noticed the apartment looked different, but thought maybe they redecorated. So I decided to just get in her bed and go to sleep. But I drank so much that I ended up throwing up all over the room. After cleaning myself up and borrowing some clothes from her closet, I finally went to sleep. But when I left the next morning, I found that my friend had been wandering where I was all night. Apparently, the apartment I slept in wasn't hers. Nope, I threw up in a random stranger's room, borrowed in a random stranger's clothes, and fell asleep in a random stranger's bed. Holy hell. What? Oh my god. You have not realizing that you went to your friend's apartment, but not realizing that was the wrong room. You ended up on the random stranger bed. And thought it was your friend. It's not. You just slipping with we just slipping with a stranger. That is so embarrassing. You just you just slept in a stranger's apartment, not in your friend's apartment. Wow. You know drunk next time you better know your friend, okay? Know who's your friend, who's not. Cause they don't know what they're gonna do to you or anything, but uh, come on, it's so embarrassing. Alright, here's another one. I want, okay, just to be clear, I'm going to put this one as an anonymous, okay? Even though they do have it, this is a, it's a BuzzFeed community, and they have, like, username to type out what is their embarrassment. I want to put this one in an anonymous way, okay, so that we don't want to know who this person is, and we just, I don't want to mention to these people, okay? So, don't attack me. Because I put this one as an anonymous account. Even though it's known, there's a known person, but we just keep it anonymous so that we don't, so I don't want to caught up. Alright, anyways, I was so hammered that I got on top of the bar and jumped off, thinking his really cute guy would catch me. But he turned away the second I leaped and I hit the floor face first. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump up and hit up and be in love with this cute guy and all of a sudden he got turned he just turned some of the way and blam on the floor face first. Ouch. That will definitely leave a mark. We went to a fast food drive thru after too many shots at the bar and for some reason I decided to take off my clothes and crawl in the drive thru window. The manager found me halfway in the window, screaming for chicken strips. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. 
Why? Why would you do that? Okay, you're in a fast food restaurant and you know what? I'm just going to take out my clothes and probably see me for chicken strips and just take all your clothes and look at the manager sees the naked them sees this person naked why why do you take all your clothes it's the modesty here and do you remember they no shirts no shoes no service that applies to this one oh that's totally bad I got blackout drunk and texted the married couple I knew to proposition them for a three-way but I was so plastic I didn't realize I was actually sending the text to my husband at home oh just text you just text it out to a married couple and not realizing it was your husband it was somebody else's husband it was his or her hus- It was her husband texting. Yep, she texted this to her husband. Because we just want to think about it a three-way. And I know, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yep, you're strong and you just texted it to the person that you think we're going to have a three-way. But not realizing it was her husband. Okay. Seems plausible. My friends and I were screwing around at a truck stop when one of them dared me to strip naked and streak through the trucks. I happily and drunkly obliged, but as I ran, flapping in the breeze, I accidentally take trip over some raised concrete and face planted, totally naked, into the cement. <laughs> Not only did I scratch up my entire face, but everything else in front too. Oh my god. God, it's just. Hopefully your, hopefully your nether region doesn't get scratch. Um, oh my goodness, someone dared you to. All right, let me strip all this. Let me strip all my clothes. Let me take off all my clothes and run like I'm streaking. And then, oop! I chip and bling, hit myself in the concrete. Face planted. While I'm naked. That really hurts. Ugh. That really hurts. I came home plastered one night and decided to make spaghetti. It wasn't until the next morning that I realized I strained the pasta with my pet's dirty pooper scooper, which I thought it was a colander. Ugh. Ugh. What in the hell is happening? Alright, alright, let's try to make the spaghetti. Alright, I'm just gonna strain all this pasta with the strainer or the colander. Wait, that's not a colander, it's the pooper scooper. Oh crap, no. Yeah, I was. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw up for that. I'm sorry. I was drunk and missing my dad, so I found everyone on Facebook with his name. And added them as friends. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. They all have like a similar names, and you added every single one of them. Thinking that, oh, where's my dad? Where's my dad? Oh my goodness. Well, at least you have some friends on Facebook. Might, it might possibly be your dad, but none of them are gonna be your dad. Because they're not related to most of it. If it's John Smith, then... <laughs> oh, gosh. It would be John Smith. And everyone search John Smith. I'm just going to put... I said John Smith here because we don't want to say something. would make it as an anonymous person. Lucky, Luckily, you have some friends, so... Good for you. I was drunk and horny and wanted to lure a guy I was hooking up with to my dorm. So I split an Oreo in half, like the two sides... <laughs> stuck them to my nipples and texted him a hot selfie of my cookie tits. He didn't respond, so I passed out and mad at him. When I woke up, I still hadn't heard from him, but I did have a text from my grandma saying, You're a snack. 
That's when I realized I totally fucked up and somehow texted her by accident. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I can I cannot I cannot with this. I just wanted to lure this guy. I'm just gonna lick the Oreo, stick into my nipples, and here it is. This is my cookie. <laughs> this is my cookie tits. And then I just tried to text it. I have not heard from him. And then there's a text from Grandma saying. Your snack. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's so tough. That is so tough, man. <laughs> Accidentally texted it. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I hate. I just <laughs> hate this. I once got into a junk fight with a tree because it was in my way. <laughs> okay. I think the tree doesn't. The tree is so big and cannot beat it. <laughs> You cannot be around the bush. You can beat the bush. You can beat the bush, but you cannot beat the tree. I mean, tree's a living thing. You're a living thing. But tree doesn't talk. But you do. So there's nothing else here. So you cannot win. You cannot win a fight against the tree. <laughs> I mean, with bare fists, yeah, you're not going to win at all. So let's put it that way. I was a wild teenager and once got so drunk that my parents found me passed out and took me to the ER. As I was getting assessed, the doctor asked me, when was your last period? I replied, science. Oh my god. Why would you, why would you ask that? I was at the bar with my sister. She told me that a guy I met months prior was looking for me. So my drunken brain told me that I should slide under the table to hide from him. But when I tried to slide, I got stuck between the table and a booth. And my sister had to ask the bouncer to come lift the table to free me. How stupid are you? How stupid are you? Alright, let me slide under the table to hide from it. But, oop, I got stuck between that table and the booth. And now your sister, you ha have to ask the bouncer to lift this table. How stupid are you? You just slide under the table. Quick, hide from this guy. Oop, I got stuck. Oh my god, you're so idiot. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is the idiotic way to just hide someone. I was dating a guy who kept leading me on. So my friend and I decided that I should put on a bikini and walk down the road to his house to show him what he was missing out on. At 6 a.m. When we got there, we started drunkenly banging on the door. But he and the woman he lived with wouldn't come out. Said they called the cops on us. And then I explained to them what I was trying to do. The cops couldn't even keep a straight face. Okay. Alright. Let's get back. Oh, so yeah, you were there. And the guy. And then you just put on a bikini. And just walk down the house, showing them the door at 6 in the morning. And we just bang the door, and you have him and the woman lived. And they look, yep, they just call the cops on them. And I explained to the cops what I was trying to do. And the cops couldn't even keep a straight face, can't even laugh at that itself. My friend and I had gone to get burgers after a night out, and I ordered a cheeseburger without cheese. The waitress responded, Ma'am, do you mean hamburger? I angrily insisted that no, it was a cheeseburger without cheese. She finally yielded to my drunkness, and I went on with my night, knowing that I was right the whole time. Oh my god. Your stupid ass, and your drunkness doesn't even mix. You mean, cheeseburger without cheese is a hamburger. So, what's wrong with it? So, I want a cheeseburger without cheese. You mean hamburger? No, cheeseburger without cheese. You're a dumbass. Can't even say, I want to order hamburger. You said cheeseburger without cheese. It was the same thing as hamburger. So, what's the point with that? Oh my goodness. That's why we have to stay sober. At all times. I woke up after a night of partying to find my phone missing. So, I went to the front desk to my door to ask if anyone had turned it in. 
They responded, Are you Kelly? And hand me my phone with a sticky note on top of my name written on it in my home right now. Apparently, I had given the front desk my phone to keep me from drunk texting anyone. Well, that's pretty smart. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I can't find my phone. Well, you did give your phone to the whoever's in the front desk so that you want to prevent yourself from drunk texting anybody. Well, you just turn you just turn in your phone to the front receptionist so that you want to prevent yourself from drunk. And then when you finish drinking, you finish partying at a night, you're just like, wait, I can't find my phone. And then just went to the front desk. Yep, you have given this, you have turned in your phone. Well, that was a good idea. Well, it's a good idea. So you want to prevent yourself from drawing and texting anyone. And you don't want to get embarrassed. But it's so embarrassing that you cannot find your phone. And not realizing that, oh, can someone, anyone turn it in? Well, you did. You did turn in your phone. So... And it's very it's embarrassing, but you just did a good idea. You just did it. A very annoying guy at a club asked for my number and I gave him what I thought it was a random number. So he would leave me alone. But I woke up the next morning with a bunch of upset texts from my best friend. Turns out the random number I gave a guy was hers and he had been texting her all night. Yep, that guy is giving you a wrong number. So annoying guy, like hey can I have your number, please? You know what? I'm gonna give you the random number, and then all of a sudden, that random number, it was her best friend. It was somebody else's best friend. He, she received many texts from the annoying guy at a club last night. Well, at least you give them that one. You just you should just type another phone number to somebody else. Not your best friend, and I sure it's number two either. Give it the phone number, write a phone number to somebody else so that they will call you and see what happens. It's a pretty good idea, but it might worth it. Okay, hint, hint, here's the tip for you guys. If someone asks your random number, write a error code and then 555, 555 is a non existent number, and whatever the number is going to be. Hopefully they will call it and ask in this phone number. Yeah, someone give they a wrong number. And hopefully no one sending in the wrong number to anyone here in the United States because that's so embarrassing. Here's a tip for you. If you want this, if they want you to give the phone number like an annoying person, give them the phone number like a 555 stuff. It's, it's good. It's a good idea. It is a really good idea. I blacked out and locked myself out of my hotel room, naked. And it was a boutique hotel with no elevator, so I had to walk down the stairs to the front desk, all in my nude glory. And asked for a room, asked for another room key. The concierge just stared at me, and they handed me a key and a towel. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, you just had... You blacked out, you I, no, no, I locked out, and I'm naked. Alright, I'm gonna go to the front desk, and uh, can I ask for, asking for a room key? And, yep, here's your key. Uh, to keep, also the modesty, here's the towel. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, because you're naked, so, <laughs> you just need, they just need a towel so that we don't want to have this lack of modesty showing. Okay? If you know what a lack of modesty is, you probably know it. Showing all the goods. And by goods, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Okay. That is pretty the end of this video is going to be, but you see some of these embarrassments here so that you don't want this to happen. I don't want all of that stories to happen to me because I'm 21 and I'm ready to drink and hopefully I don't want to be embarrassing at some of the stupid things that 
I might be doing. And I just don't wanna mess it up, you know. You know what? Be careful and drink drink responsibly. If you don't wanna drink, stay sober. You're living a good life with staying sober for as long as you want. Okay? Yeah. That's all I have from this video today and I'll see you guys whatever the next video is going to be. Okay. Goodbye one.